My name is Anthony Allen, welcome to my YouTube channel Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is all about your editing, teaching you how to edit so that you can tell the stories that you want to tell in the way that you would like to tell them with full creative control. And here in this video, we're going to be talking about a plugin, a new plugin that is available on a website called johnbillu.com. It's going to be a good one, stay tuned because it's coming right up. Okay, so the plugin that we're looking at today is another one from johnbilu.com. If it goes by example of the other plugins that we've downloaded from this website, it will be absolutely brilliant. As I said in previous videos, an example of a good plugin is something that saves you time or solves a problem. Now here in this video, we're looking at a, a plugin called Motion Blur. Now, as it describes on the website, this basically gives you uh, two different versions of a Motion Blur effect that basically gives the illusion of traveling very fast and it also looks appealing as well and you can use it for different various things so I'm not going to you know condense this down as to just that type of effect but you will see what this can do and we will have a, a judgment on the plugin if it's good if it's bad if it does those two things save you time or solves a problem we'll have a look at this first hand now there's two different motion blur titles that we're given it's called ghosting and the other is called traces the price for this plugin is just five dollars gone down from 29 dollars so we're going to have a look at this first hand within final cut pro 10 we're going to see if it's good we're going to see if it's bad we're going to see what it can do so without further ado let's get into final cut pro 10 because i have some awesome clips that should look really good if this effect is pulled off this is my first time looking at this as well guys i don't look at these plugins first i actually look at them along with you in these videos so let's have a look okay so here we are inside of final cut pro 10 and i've been able to find ghosting for every download that you get from johnbilu.com you have instructions of how to install that plugin which is also very very helpful so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm just going to get rid of my effects panel because we don't need it um i'm actually going to get rid of the now I'm going to leave the inspector because we might need it. So let's have a look at some of the stock footage clips that we've got here. So I have a ballet dancer. I've got no musical sound to these clips. I have a ballet dancer where it's wrapped with a certain pattern. It's the same ballet dancer, by the way. And then I have a train going past. Uh, so the first one we're going to have a look at is we're going to have a look at the ballet dancer. We're going to go to the uh, beginning of the clip and we're going to try this ghosting. So it actually works as a sort of title that overlays like an adjustment layer. Um, so we're going to drag this now over that clip. I'm going to zoom in slightly using the pinch technique that I've spoken about in my Final Cut Pro 10 beginners tutorials. You can find a whole playlist of beginners guides on my channel for Final Cut Pro 10 users. There are 10 lessons that should be in that playlist. If not, then you're early and you've caught the uh, uh, beginners place early, which is a good thing, which means you can go along with me and uh, ask any questions along the way or I do answer questions on every single one of my videos by the way uh, so so here we go so have a, let's have a look at what ghosting does to this clip this dancer this ballet dancer stock footage let's go right it, oh wow wow I, I love that I love that I love that now we're gonna play around with it and we're gonna see what other capabilities it has so let's give it more of a delay so if I pull the delay up, let's pull it up a bit more so we can really see what the delay does on this clip. Now obviously it's still rendering so you won't see the full quality, but let's press play either way. Oh, okay, it's rendering fairly quickly as well, look at that! Look at that, the rendering time is brilliant, so it's rendering fairly quickly now. I'm going to leave it, I'm not actually going to rush, I'm going to let it render out because it's actually rendering very, very quickly. These plugins are very well made from johnbilu.com and that's what I'm starting to notice. It's really taken time in creating brilliant plugins that is done already that change has been in effect already so let's have a look at the delay at 0 0.87 wow it does give a ghostly feeling doesn't it it's like it's like a it is a, it is a ghostly feeling let's have a look at that again so it's like the delay on the movement. Okay, right, okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna have a look at this. This is really interesting, you've got ghosts. So already it's changed the color. There was a slight delay of movement that you can see over the top of the image. We're gonna pull this up, we're gonna pull up ghosts. So shall we leave it to render? It's, it's very unorthodox for the type of videos that I've been creating that I'm actually leaving the plugin to render before we preview the change that has, that has happened because this is rendering fairly quickly very very quickly right now 
Obviously, another thing that might be playing into that is the fact that I don't have all of my windows open. So if you are a Final Cut Pro 10 beginner and you don't know how to close down various things within your uh, um, workspace within Final Cut Pro 10, definitely check out a playlist on my channel for Final Cut Pro 10 beginners. It's a full beginner's guide. There should be at least 10 lessons in there if you are there when like later on. If you're early, then I'm still releasing some of those episodes that should really help you if you're a Final Cut Pro 10 beginner. So that has rendered, that, that change has taken effect. So let's have a look at what it looks like when I pulled up the ghosts uh, parameters within this plugin, this adjustment layer here. Wow, so the ghosts basically give the effect that the ghost is still there after the movement. So let's have a look at that again. Yes, because the feet are still there. See, oh, okay, right, right, right. Okay, so now we've done that. Let's have a look at the decay. So we pull it down we put it up let's put it up so let's have a look at that this is a full mix by the way so to pulling down the mix will uh, lessen the whole effect and uh, obviously pulling it up will give the full effect so giving it time to render as well it's going to give you a little bit of chit chat while we're waiting for that to render do you guys have any questions already are you are you going to download this yourself what do you think of this plugin uh, i i really do enjoy john billu's um plugins I from first impression I was like I'm not sure what these plugins offer is, is it going to be you know of high quality but yes the, these plugins are very high quality and I'm not just saying that as well because I've spoken to the man himself I'm actually saying that because this is my first time using these plugins from johnbillu.com and they're absolutely brilliant there we go okay so let's have a look at what happens when I've pulled up the decay on the shot now so obviously it gives it gives a brilliant color grade over the top of that i mean that looks brilliant i mean what we're going to do now is i'm just going to pull this down pull the decay down um and now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to apply ghost in to the next clip i'm going to give a completely different layer now and i'm going to apply that to the next clip and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly find i think it was trails was it called trails i think it was called trails no, it wasn't called trails tracers that's what it was it was tracers i knew it was close so we're going to use tracers on the train i'm not going to use it on the entire clip i'm going to use it on part of the clip now i understand now why this is in the titles folder because it, it gives you the option of using this as an adjustment layer so you can literally drag this along a various amount of clips or layered clips and so forth which is absolutely brilliant so i'm going to go into tracers now and uh I might actually, shall I wait for this to render? Because it's rendering quite quickly. Another tip for those of you who want things to render quicker is to not move anything within Final Cut Pro 10 while something is rendering. That also makes it render quickly. Another thing you can do is you can actually change the preview of your clips and things within your timeline, which is the reason why titles render a lot quicker than any other changes you make with a clip. So if you can actually uh, change the way your, your clips look see i've just made it look like a title tile and you can see that it's absolutely running when i stop moving the mouse absolutely running along the rendering time now um to see the rendering time you can just click on the uh pie here the clock and you can see how it's rendering it's actually not pausing when i'm moving on the timeline look it's not pausing now that that's if i move skim the timeline you'll see it will slightly pause no, it's not even pausing then. It's absolutely brilliant. This is a brilliant plugin. And we're going to see what this can do when we're using trails as well. So we've had a look at ghosting. I'm very impressed with what I saw so far. Again, as I always say, a plugin, a good plugin is basically something that can save you time. A plugin that can save you time or solves a problem. Um, so even if you could do this effect yourself, I'm pretty sure that this is saving you the time that you have to spend in creating this effect. So we're going to have a look now, now that this is rendered, we're going to have a look at traces and we're going to have a look at what this looks like on this train's movement. Let's go. Wow. Wow. Right, so we're going to give some more, we're going we're gonna to mess around with the parameters of this now. So we've got the duration and we've got the traces amount. Now normally, when you've got a uh, effect within Final Cut Pro 10 and you have like a peak which it hits, you can actually pull this up a lot more. And the way you can do this is you can click on it, scroll up, 
but it's not giving me that parameter. Within Final Cut Pro X effects, you can actually do that occasionally when it's hit its peak, it can actually take it up to a higher level. And if you've got a decal on it as well, and you've got a duration. Now, I'm not sure what the duration means. I think it means the duration of the trail, which gives the movement a a, 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 a sort of super speed looking effect of something leaving a trail behind it. As, I've seen this in adverts. There's a few adverts I've watched on television where a car moves across a motorway and it's got a trail that leaves behind it. This is basically that same effect. And we're going to do that now with the train. So I've just pulled that up to 0.97%. And we're going to see what it looks like. So far, I'm very, very impressed with the ghosting and tracers, most in blur effect that is available within uh, johnbilu.com. Again, this is another great plugin. So now we've just made the the, uh, the the change within traces. We're going to see what this looks like. Let's go. Just as I thought. So it gives it a longer trail of that movement. See, on the train, it's going to be hard to see. You can see the difference now when I've moved it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, get rid of ghosting on the ballet that has a wrap on it, on the ballet movement that has a wrap on it. And we're going to use traces on this ballet dancer here. This should be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see what this looks like now. Because this should, this should be cool. Um, you can also layer this up. So I'm going to move this along the ghosting layer at the top of the first clip as well. And we're going to see if that works. Going to drag this along a second. And then we're going to even put it into this part here. So yeah, let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what this does. Um, I want a longer trail as well. So we're just going to go into the traces. Make sure it's, a, yeah, the traces amounts up. The duration, we're going to pull that up as well. Because I want a longer trail that's left behind of a movement there i mean if you can imagine if you've got like a martial arts movement and you're making an advert and it's got a trail of the punch that leaves behind it that could be a superpower so there's a there's, there's so much that you can do with a plugin like this it just requires you to use your imagination and stretch the uh, usage of a plugin like this and there's a there's various different things you can do with a plugin like this uh, as you can see now i've just layered this up in two different sections uh with with uh, ghosting and traces at the same time. Now the rendering time when you're layering up, you can see it's taking a slight little bit more time and I'm not sure if you can hear my fans within my Mac now just turning on and trying to work its way through that. So it might take slightly a little bit more time when you're layering up these effects. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of the video and not dragging you along is I'm going to pause and then we'll get back. You should just jump to when the rendering is done. Um, so I'm just going to hit pause on my recording right now. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, so now we're back after rendering and we're going to have a look at this effect and in its all of its glory, basically. So let's just zoom out on the timeline so you can see what we've got. I'm also going to actually uh, change the look of my clip so you can see what's happening. We haven't got any sound, so there's no reason for me to really show you what's going on with the sound there. Uh, obviously, we've got our preview window open and we've got the uh, inspector parameters over on the right hand side. So let's have a look at what this effect looks like now that it's fully rendered. And layered as well, because it's actually layered as well. So let's just press play. Let's have a look. Wow. Wow. I love it. There's trails now on this one. Tracer, sorry. There's traces on that. You see that? And that's the difference in the tracers, because for some reason, the effect has stopped working. Actually, you know, it just changed. It just changed, so maybe I keyframed it, I'm not sure. So that's another plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 users to have a look at, and definitely a website that you want to check out is johnbilly.com. I've spoken to the man himself. If you don't know how the website is spelled, it's J-O-N-B-E-L-E-W.com. Johnbilly.com. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the second name correctly. Hit us down in the comments section with your thoughts and what you think, so you can provide more context for the content creator, for the one who creates these plugins for John Billu because you will be checking out these videos as well and definitely hit the thumbs up on the video if it's provided you with any form of value and and one more thing hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss a upload here on Anthony Allen edits because these are the sort of videos that we make from time to time and basically every day the type of niche that we're aiming at to help you with your editing but this video was focused towards Final Cut Pro 10 users but we also have a look at other different video editing and picture editing and motion graphics softwares and platforms and we help you with those as well so it's definitely a reason to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as i upload every day so with that said i'll see you in the next video coming up next here on anthony allen edits thank you for watching peace